Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringer's Watch. I am your host Fuck, and tonight we are continuing our way through the lands between. Um, last time we defeated Godric and activated the room of uh, him. You know you have to go through uh, through this. We had to go through the castle and search for the tower that's been the tower at the end of this map. The Divine Tower of Limgrave. Um, that's been quite a heavy task, and today I want to show a uh, start, start the episode. That's the correct sentence. Uh, by showing you how you can uh, enter the area of the lake without going into the castle at all. So, first off. Let's mount up. I go from the first check with the maiden in it. And you don't have to do much uh, than going up here. But instead of turning to the left, you turn to the right. You go under the bridge and then there's this collapsed bridge this other one and there's a, a finger reader crow you can talk to her if you want that is no, please I can read them your fingers please your fingers we show the hands of gold tarnished traverse rea lucaria glintstone eventide and reunite the half crescents at the grand lift oh but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed only why should that matter Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Okay. The collapsed bridge is not that big a problem because there's a way around. If you did not know. Um you right to the left. And you see here is where where the bridge collapsed is a pathway. Um, that leads us back to the cliffside. And there are some wolves on the way up, but we can ignore them. And just ride across. At the end of the pathway, you see an, uh, a side of grace, which you can activate. And after we've done that, I need to go back to Bok, because I still didn't do that. Yeah, be silent. Okay. So we should now be in the area of the lake, and there's the side of grace. Activate the Lost Grace. Um, this is also, I believe, the first uh, grace that you see when you uh, come from Stormwell Castle. But the uh, exit of Stormwell Castle is, I believe, to this side somewhere. And here is an NPC. Let's talk to her. And then I head back to Bok. Hello? There's someone there. My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, 
I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. So she's one of those finger maidens that we are lacking. Um, at least if we believe all those sayings in the beginning. And let's check if we have a Shabiri eyes. I think that's a key item. Um, we have a beast eye. And that it. we can find a Shabiri eye, but I am not sure where. Maybe we find some later. And if you give her the Shabriri eye, she moves further on. Hello? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes... Okay. Nothing new from her. Good. Um, fuck. Is still lying in the cave? Lying fire at the grace oh what are you doing here you must leave this place at once they'll rush in and beat you to a pulp you'll end up just like me no we give Bok a sewing needle that we found in this cave wait is that what i think it is you got it back for me my sewing needle. Turn it over. And then we just wait a moment. <sighs> what made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress. And that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you. You're very kind. I always wanted to be a seamster like like my mum. Then I suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Okay. And the next time we see Bog, at the side of Grace, uh, he will offer to be. Our personal seam stress and uh, altering our uh, equipment, though we can do that on our own. Okay, um, we did this. Wait, there's still an ever jail that I did not do. Hey, how could I forget about that? Okay, we do some wrap up uh, stuff before we head into the Urnia of the Lake. That'll come, come in quite handy because the Urnia of the Lake... It's a tough... The Urnia of the Lake is a tough place. So uh, let's do this wrap up stuff of the Everjail and... I found... Uh, some... Some dungeons that I didn't see... Uh, last time that I've played the games and uh, I found them yesterday in the dungeon ah, in the dungeon, in the stream and I want to head with you through them one in particular has been not quite dangerous I, I, I'd say okay let us and uh, the Everjail. I think this is one of the easier ones. Okay. Let's rush ahead. And then... Oh, whoa. Crucible Knight still hits like... Like hell. Okay. Okay, I have to be a bit... A bit more careful here. Okay, I don't care for that crucible knight. If you want to do him, do him on yourself, on your own. I want to continue the game. Hayden. 
gauntlets. I think I've never been through this through this tower. Oh, almost saw us. Ah, knight. And there's a treasure chest. Oh, cool. Okay, let's sneak up on these other guys that already saw us. So, the Crucible Knight will be our new nemesis. We finally found someone and we got the Arrow's Reach Talisman. Now, uh, let's see what this talisman does. Um, increases bow effective range. Oh, the range. So we can try to sniper from now on. Okay, now as I told you, I found some new dungeons that I haven't been venturing through uh, in my earlier playthroughs. And one of them is here, close to the 4th Church of America. Okay. Um, we are going horseback. The dungeon is somewhere around here. Hmm. That's the Everjail. I don't care for the Everjail. But I need to drop down somewhere around here. Okay. You can access this place, I think, only from the top. So, let's do that. And then there's this cave. Do we have something that reduces poison damage or that heals us from poison? I don't think so, sadly. Okay. We are in the Tombsward Cave. There's this lot of grace. I want to equip the lantern, just in case. So I think it's not necessary for this cave. Then we do uh, activate the summoning pool, and from now on, it's getting dangerous. Because this whole cave is poisoned. And there are these. Mushroom people. Okay. Just be careful with the, their attack. We got toxic mushroom. And there's the golden room too. Let's investigate this toxic mushroom. This uh, crafting material. Oh, it is. Okay. I thought it is some kind of uh, antidote. Okay. Let's be quick about this. They are not that strong, those enemies, but uh, the poisonous swamp can make traversing this area quite hard. And also, you want to keep an eye out for those Oh, we are poisoned, so now we don't care. Let's just get in. Now you want to keep an eye out for those slimy things that drop from all over the place. Um, You want to go to the right area. Uh, you can ignore the left pathway because you come to the room that the left pathway leads to. Um, but you want to be careful around here. Here are rats. And it's not only uh, small rats, it's all kind of rats. So we got those two smaller ones, and then there will appear a bigger one at some point. Let's get rid of this small, heal up once more, and then you see, here's the bigger bigger one and it's not the only big red in this cave and back here you get a nomadic warriors cookbook okay. 
And you'll see there's there's the other it appears when you come from back behind there. Let's get rid of it. And get on to the land. If you follow the path, there's a uh, corpse lying around with an item. And those poisonous plants. Get an arterial leaf. Okay. So down there are more of those poisonous plants. And more of those mushroom people. We should back down a bit and patch ourselves up. They will rise all three if you grab the item. So get rid of them first. Grab the poisonous plant and poison bone dart daggers. And down here is the boss area. And you have to fight these plant thing in this small area, so be prepared. Ow, got them. I need to heal a bit. I totally forgot that it has this smashing attack. With the Bloodhound Fang, this one's not that big a problem, and you get the Viridian Ember Medallion, which um, increases stamina regeneration. Okay, so this has been the first dungeon. The second dungeon is right at the start of the peninsula. And there's something else that we will find a bit first. Somewhere around here is another site of praise that I want to activate. It's close to this mountain. Ah, here it is. So it's in this part. Did we? We have gone to the Tower of Return. Okay. A little less activated. Then rest here to replenish our flasks. And we teleport back to the Castle Morn Rampart, where we fought the Night Rider Cavalier. Okay. So, mount up. I totally did not see this thing and there's this tower and you want to make sure to aim for this so you can easily get up here and up here is turtle shield uh which i think is is a bad item but maybe you want to collect all those things so be free to do so and here's uh, one of those towers um, with a shield of entrance. It's Odoris, Odoris' Rise. And at the foot of those towers, there's always such a thing that says, Seek three wise beasts. And then you have to slay those small ghost turtles. Let's get rid of those wolves pretty quick. Collect some more of the beast bones. Okay. The second turtle is hidden somewhere in the bushes around the tower. There it is. To, to the left of the stairs. And the third one is the one that's hidden best. But if you come to this puddle of water, you see sometimes there's this splashing and, and the waves. And when you hit there, there's this turtle. And with all three gun, you 
break the seal and you can enter enter the tower climb up the ladder and up there is a chest with a memory slot oh wait right we have to travel up towards those stairs and there's this memory stone okay can we make a quick dash to the bottom without climbing the ladder again i think can yeah, that should be either way okay then we want to travel to the north i think there's all also another lost trace here there it is and then there's those holes in the ground with those strange looking enemies if you go there um Another one will spawn, and this one has some gravity attacks. Let's summon our skeletal militia man. Mount up. Those enemies aren't that strong. But there are quite a few. That you want to get rid of. And then you want to fight this hard looking creature past those gravity attacks you see this one and um, an energy ball that ha travels a short distance and then um, pulls you to it and we get a gravity stone chunk and I believe that's all that is around here at least i checked all the holes and didn't find any precious item up here i believe is nothing and uh on the other ruins it's also nothing let's see do we get down here without dying hey yeah we we made it nice oh grab the ruins and then you see there's this uh, wait. There's this statue that shows you to another entrance. Let's examine it. Ah, from here you get uh, you come to to the other side. Ah, that's cool. Oh, whoa! Oh, got them. I nearly crashed. Hmm, I think that's the way to to this other tower. And you see from this side you Ah you may come up here from another route. That's good to know. Okay. Um let's search the dungeon and go through it. Use, use the way, don't jump down there. Pathways down here. Can ignore those those pests. Those flying idiots. I had to restrain myself there a bit from not going into uh a curse to rod. Okay, we are now in the Impaler's Catacombs. Good. Be careful, because there's those enemies, and there are lots of them. Get rid of them. Here's already the boss door, and the boss is the hardest thing in the dungeon. Okay. Also, you can lure this this fellow into the tunnel. 
sort of thing further than half the halfway through it won't go then there's this fellow on the wall let's get it down and crush it crush it and then there's one on the left side I think left right side okay good down with you now take the brave love word 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 that's the path forward but you may want to grab oh, I got them grab this item don't forget those like I did um and then there's this room if you move your camera upwards you see all those spikes the right thing to do here is go onto this grab this item oh not to heal then go down here let's move it up and then jump down into this puddle of water Ghost Glove Bird uh, level 2. If you want to grind a bit, you can do this down here because these zombies. Ow! They spawn endlessly. I personally don't want to do this. I just want to get all those items that la are lying around. So I'll make a quick dash. You see they are rising from everywhere, so just be careful. If you knock them down, as I told you, they will respawn, so you can do a bit of grinding down there. Uh, not worth the time, though, I think. Okay, pull the lever. And then there's the way ahead. Be careful, because of this little asshole and then you have sorry then you have to jump through this window and you're right at the start I go and replenish all my flasks and my health and FP and then we go to do the boss which is hard to be honest. All you have to do is get him past these two. I think if you are going to shoot this one, it will fall down into the hole. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have to interfere with this little bugger again. Okay. Let us get the skeletal militiaman ready. And summon it. We have to face another Urtree Burial Watchdog. And four of those... Those... Things. Oh, got them. Fire. Uh, be careful with blood loss. That's the thing that could get you. Oh, we lost a militia man. Okay, once you you got rid of those, the boss is not that hard anymore. Just make sure that you dodge all the, the attacks. Especially the fire. Also, you go for the skeleton, that, that's good. 
course that makes the fight easier than anything else if the boss is distracted. Okay, so you're switching again to, to the skeletal. That's nice of you. Ow, god damn it. Didn't saw this attack coming. Dodge those attacks. You can do that by sprinting and then finish it off. Thank you, Skeletal Militia Man. You are the best. At least in this playthrough. For that, you get the demi human ashes. I don't think that they are worth whipping. I don't like those demi humans, to be honest. And I think that's now all on the Weeping Peninsula. I hope so. Okay, um. Let me think. I believe. There's more that we could do. There are the Merc Water Catacombs. And here's Patches. Somewhere around here is another tunnel that we could go through. Okay, doesn't matter. We are going to the the earlier of the lakes and make our first steps in there. Okay. Ayate is still there. I believe somewhere around here is another NPC. In this church of Erith. Let's see, we get another sacred tier that's coming in quite handy, and here sits another sorcerer. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Flintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, I'd be happy to share my knowledge. And we will donate those ten runes. Well, bless you, bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Let's talk a bit with Pops. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. All right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Okay. We can now ask about the Glintstone key and about Selen. And we will do this. As always. Why not find yourself a Glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Earth Tree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends. And I can be very patient. Would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Merely a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the Academy. Okay. And then we can ask about Sunnan. The uh, sorceress that we found in Limgrave two times. One time at the Weeping Peninsula as a prisoner and the second time in Limgrave. What is said to be her uh, mirror image or something like that. Um, 
cast Fury Sorcery, from which we can learn sorcery spells. You've taken an apprenticeship with Salon. Well, that is something. Salon was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Salon was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Salon would never do such things. Mm, don't be so sure about that. And let's see what sorceries Hobbs can offer. It's only a Clinstone Pebble. Uh, the Clinstone Arc. I think the Clinstone Arc is quite cool. And Starlight. And Starlight is just some better light. And for that we have the Lantern. So I am more used to use the Lantern than any sorcery for that. Don't want to spend my FP on them. Okay. Um, there are three map pieces, I believe. Because the earlier of the lakes is big, even bigger than, than Limgrave. And uh, let's make way to the first one. But also, we will look at all those beautiful places here, like this graveyard. And beautiful places. Good. Gain some material leaves here. Be careful with those. Okay. And we get an academy scroll, which we can give to Salmon. Okay, I think that's it on this graveyard. Oh, zoom in a bit. Hmm, we get up there. No, but we can't fall down to our death. That's okay, that's the critical path that we are heading anyways. Okay. Travel a bit faster. Oh! Down there is... Is our... Stuff. Okay, and I want to have him back. I uh, port this this knight that's now our nemesis, and uh, totally forgot to keep uh, to get my runes back. So I am short of like five thousand. What's back here? Oh wait, that's the Church of Irith. Got confused there. Thought that that be an enemy. And something's back there. I did not discover in, in any playthrough. Ah, that could be... No, that, that's not this part. Huh. There are so many wondrous places around in this game. Okay. Let's head to this graveyard part. And you see them hanging there? They are alive. And there's this dude with, with the axe. And they are quite dangerous. They are sturdy and they hit like a train. Those other skeletons are nothing compared to that. Okay, let's get down from our horse. So we can get rid of them more easy. Because I think not every enemy is easy on horse. Some are easier on feet. Okay. Ah. Get rid of this one. We only got a warming stone from this. Okay. And that has been a group. 
and now we are going the path where we are destined to travel. And we will find an encampment down there. Uh, from some knights, and those are not the knights that we faced before. But uh, these are the Raya Lucarian knights. So, since Raya Lucaria is a magic academy, uh, you can be sure that they are uh, well uh, fought with at least a bit of sorcery. So, for the first camp, let's summon our skeletal militia man before we get in. Because they throw bombs. That cast um, such. I think those are some magic pellets. I don't believe that they are strong enough to be magic missiles. Oh. Attack to the wrong side. Okay. Good. There's another knight. And there comes the other one. And that's the, the thing I was talking about. And there you're homing. Good, and we got the Kuko Surcoat. And I believe Kuko is part of those um, Rayel Carrion teachings. Good. Here's another item drop. Let's see. Just a short sword. And you want to crash through these. Because there's another item. Oh, just a smoldering butterfly. But I like those. They are the reason I can craft fire bombs. And fire bombs are pretty strong. And the main part of uh, Leonia of the Lakes is a lake. A big, big lake full of dangers and terrors and everything. Let's activate the side of grace. And you see it's not far to the map part, but before we have a merchant. You're new around here. Surprised you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? Shady a bit. Okay. Uh, this one sells a lantern. Some astrologer ropes. Never bought any um, armor from, or from them. Astrologer hood. Kite shield. That's no skill. Ah, looks cool. And the Nomadic Warriors cookbook, which we will buy for sure. Some smithing stones and an S stock. But it's all that we get from this Nomadic Merchant. We will now go and take the map. But I'd just be careful because there are. Many enemies around here hiding all over the places. Those ruins all in the lake. And some are even on horseback. Um, they are a uh, more rare kind to, to those uh, mounted enemies. Because they are bound to their horse. Uh, so you can't dismount them. They just die then. And we found the map. And um, let's see. We got the Lee Ernier West map. Uh, east? The Ernier East. And you see only this long, long part. Oh, there's a, re a finger reader crown. We didn't see her, but we have her on the map. And I believe the Ernier of the Lakes has 
two uh, minor earth trees, which we will maybe see one of uh, in this episode. Don't know. No, okay. If I watch, watch the time of recording, I don't think we do. Um, for now, let's run across and use this fairy spring to get up here. Up here is another Everjail, and you know how we do this. It's the Malefactus Everjail. Let's see what we are facing here. Okay. I think I'm ready. It's an end. Thief of Fire. Has this meteor attack. Okay. Got a good hit in there. Summons another meteor. Just outrange it. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I did not outrange it. Okay, second attempt on this fellow. He has this flailing attack where he just moves forward, flailing, then do a jump attack. But in general, this fellow is not that hard. He is by far the easiest one I think I faced until now. And you see, second attempt. Maybe I would have failed him. Uh, uh, failed him with first. If I did not go into the flame of the fell god. And I believe the flame of the fell god has some sick requirements. So let's head into the inventory and go for yeah, forty-one faith. Summons raging fireball that explodes and sets the area ablaze. Pretty strong. Okay. Uh, I will ride up with this earth tree in mind. And I think I do it quick. Because there are some, some nasty enemies hiding around here. So let's see. Yeah, you saw some. Those small enemies that are throwing uh, those smoke bombs. Small, vile creatures with a chain weapon. At least some of them. And you don't want to get dismounted by them. Because they're never alone. Okay, let's deal a finishing blow. And pillage the corpse. We got a vulgar militia armor. Hmm. Cool. I believe there has been a card somewhere around here with an item and more of those Ulga militia guys. Okay, I did not see it, so let's make haste through this part because they are hiding in here too. I want to have the Trinus Lily. Then dash forward. Ah, there's the card that I was talking about. Let's grab the item. 
Oh, just some ballista bolts. I'll make haste to get go outrun them. Get away from there is another camp that we will go to in just a moment. I think there is some uh side of grace around here that I first want to activate before I fight those. Those are also fire slingers. And I think it's it this ruins. Am I heading right? There you see some of those riders I was talking about just a moment earlier. And you really want to traverse this part of the lake as carefully as, as can be. These are the Laskia ruins. I can summon something here. So this might be a pretty dangerous place. Let's patch ourselves up. Some the jelly. Ah, oh, wait. I think I know what this place is. Okay. Somewhere around here is a fierce enemy that spawns. Ah, oh, right. Not these fellows. Though these can be pretty annoying with their bells. And cast they are, they are doing. But in front of this, the skate is an enemy. It will sure, surely do you a, a hard time. Yeah, it's this one. This fellow spits poison, and you see it ticks up quite heavy, and it will flay on on you with its many hands. Catch ourselves up, and has this nasty dash. And we got good with one of those cars because we didn't come up quite early. Getting up on your feet after you're being falsely dismounted. Is quite the hard task. Okay, I'll make a dash for the runes. And I think I ignore the enemy. Because right now I don't think that I want to traverse through this portal, anyways. Ah, and here's the, the side of grace that I was talking about. Okay. Grab this item. Flintstone Craftsman Cookbook. So, just five meters more. Who's casting? Okay. Um wait where ah here take it and then just make a dash okay we are not able to open the map because we are still counted as being in fight oh, but that's that's the way i wanted to go uh, in this small fort there are some some dangerous enemies you will face those first they go down easy but these priests are the foe that is uh, is the stronger one. Not the smaller, but those with the, with the cool rope. They are able to cast some nasty fire attacks. Like these. But also this flamethrower-like attack. 
And I believe you find some fire sorceries in this in this place. Let's lure this one out. Uh, there you go. Oh no. Wait, why? Okay. But this time. In there are more of those smaller priests. Ow. Can do some consecutive blows. Whoa. And turn around with those flamethrower cast. Okay, let's check the area from a safe distance. I only see two more priests, which are dashing towards us. So, okay, let's turn around. Ow. And we're dead. Nice. <laughs> I am not careful enough. Okay, but here's the stake of America, so we are pretty close. Grab our runes back, then do the, the shit over again. Okay. Got in some good hits. Got rid of two. Oh. Did not want to dismount. Okay, got rid of the small ones. Only the big one remains. Ow. Okay, let's patch ourselves up. I should keep an eye on my stamina. So you're not coming? Is that what you're saying? Then let's sneak in. Oh, now you now you're coming. Okay. He's dealing more damage than we are doing. But got staggered, pretty good. One final blow. Do that. Then we get rid of this little fellow. And I believe then there's only this one left. Let's get in a quick backstab. And then we can pillage. Yeah, you get a gesture. Fire spur me. Some smoldering butterflies, collect them. They are essential for you, for your well being. Then a Fire Monk's prayer book. This is, I think, a prayer book you can give to an NPC that teaches you incantations. Though I am not sure about that. Okay. And then you see there's this big bow. Of stone that you can ride under through and I think this is something we will do in the next episode for now let's acquire those new materials get away from all those bats and look for another oh it's a dead end I want to find another... Ow! Why are they this strong? Hmm. Okay. 
You dared to challenge me, so I will live with the consequences. Okay. I believe somewhere around here should be another lost race. Hmm. We're back at the swamp. With a giant crab right in front of us. And this corrosive or poisonous looking looking swamp piece. Ow. Yeah, it is poisonous. So stay on torrent. Then you don't have many problems. Ow. Damn it. Got turned around there. You see, as soon as we are falling down, we are stacking poison. And I think I end the episode here. Next time, we fight our new enemy, uh, our new enemy here, yeah, our new nemesis, and uh, traverse further into the early of the lakes. Uh, I am eager to find this minor earth tree path up there although I may make sure to to look into the way on my other character <laughs> okay so thank you all for watching liking sharing and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video bye